Five things you don't know about the emperor. I will not my beautiful people. Um, it's a sunny Tuesday today. Today is the 11th day of January 2022. Usually I'm not, um, I'm not, how do I put it? I'm more of a, of a private and reserved person, kind of in my own definition and a lot of the time i don't want to talk about things i just let people guess or just leave them to fill in the gaps and all of that a lot of the time it leads into misunderstanding like a lot of people misunderstand me a lot like that happens all over all, all over and over again but you know now streets we move i'm on i'm on board at about all of that so um today i just thought about i thought about um putting out a video um of um five things i think that a lot of my fans out there do not know about the emperor mobology first i see and um i feel that uh maybe one way or the other it could possibly inspire somebody or one or two persons get to know these facts about me and um, i don't know i just felt like recording it and i was inspired by omolade um, um she's the ceo of s by lady and um okay so basically i don't know i don't even know where to start from um we're on the road right now my name is mobola jifasa c once again popularly known as the emperor indigenous rapper entertainer actor and a businessman so um uh, where do i start from okay let me just give a brief introduction about myself besides my name um i'm an indigenous of ogun state and i was born and brought up in lagos state in um, alagbad area of lagos state precisely so um that's being said number one on the list of um, things i i i guess or i suppose that you you wouldn't know about the emperor is number one the emperor that's myself was the first indigenous rapper in and from nigeria to premiere a music video in a movie cinema yes I'm saying that all over again. The Emperor, that's myself, was the first indigenous rapper to premiere a music video in a movie cinema. And it doesn't just end there. I was also the first indigenous rapper from Nigeria and in Nigeria to perform alongside a live band. Now, um, for the history of indigenous rap, a lot of the time, um, when um, rappers perform their songs in the past, they just mime to possibly instrumental, like instru recorded instrumentals, or they mime with their song playing in the background. But when I was going to do my uh, music video premiere, that was Paramood, that was 2014, uh, precisely, year 2014. And I premiered it in the Silver, Silver Bay Cinemas in Ikeja, that's ICM, which you, you guys call ShopRite now. Um, I just wanted to do something totally different totally unique like a lot of time when people do concerts and premieres like that they rather use uh, maybe halls use uh, maybe an open space or a popular venue and all that so i thought about i was like okay i want to um make my guests feel welcome feel at home feel very comfortable and i was like okay fine let me reach out to silver bed cinemas i think i first went to yeah i went to ozone cinemas in yaba i reached out to ozone cinemas in yaba and um we couldn't strike a deal we couldn't conclude and get a deal so I tried out Silver Bear Cinemas and luckily for me, we were able to get a deal and, um, and that was it basically. So I was more particular about the comfort of my guests because of the caliber of people that come to my, to my events. They are not just, all my fans, you guys are, you guys are the real MVPs, like you are VVIP. So a lot of the time I'm always particular about the comfort of my fans. And, and you know, when you are very comfortable where you are, it makes, it makes the music enter your system better and you just feel the vibe and enjoy yourself. So. I picked Silverbed Cinemas Ikeja ICM. Like I said, you guys popularly call it ShopRite and the likes now in Ikeja. And we premiered this, this the video, the music video there. Um, I premiered it in the cinema, right in the cinema hall. We got a cinema hall. Um, I paid for a smaller space, a smaller hall, like a medium size hall. But luckily, the manager supported me and was like, oh, I can see that your people are quite much. So I'm giving you a bigger size hall. And that was it. So um, I repeat, the Emperor was the first that's number one was the first indigenous rapper to premiere a music video in the in the, in the movie cinema and 
also perform alongside the live band. Now, let me talk about the live band. So while we while I was deliberating and thinking about okay, what do I give the audience that's going to be different from what people have been doing the usual of just miming to CDs and you know their songs and all of that. I thought I was like, okay, what if I perform alongside the live band? It was more of an impromptu decision like it at the dying me like a week to the event. That was when I started thinking about all of this and I reached out to through the help of my cousin um, CEO of Dex Tishes and Branda, Branda.ng. Uh, he was able to link me up with a couple of his guys um, in Ikorodu. So we had to go down to Ikorodu then. We were in the studio for about two nights, rehearsing. You know, they, they were in conversant with the sound yet. So we had to start rehearsing, um, trying to put things together and all of that. No, I, no, I, I remember I just said, I sent them the song first. They listened to it, they scored it. Then we now plan to meet like maybe two or three days to my event. So we had to now rehearse for those two nights that I said initially. So I think that was it for 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 the um, performance. So on the day of the event, then I think there was e-cops, there were some e-cops because the cinema wasn't designed to house um, live band performance because you know the cinema sound has been constructed in a way that the whole thing has been set automatically. So bringing a live band into the cinema was just off it because <laughs> it was off it for us and we just had to just work with what we had so eventually i first got a, I, I got a notification that oh the guys are bringing the speakers and sound though they said one thing happened to their vehicle on the road though blah 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 i was like i don't want to hear anything you guys cannot come and mess up my big day all i want to see is that the speakers are here and we're ready to walk we're ready to move so eventually when they saw fire in my eyes, or more, they just had to go and look for a way, and they came around, and eventually we got the whole thing grooving. A big shout out to MC Casey Brown. I just remember now, MC Casey Brown was was um, was the MC for the event. Yes, MC Casey Brown was the MC for the event. A big shout out to every artist that came around to perform and support the concerts on that day. That's I'm going back now to 2014. That was my first ever concert, official concert, and. A big shout out to everybody that came around and supported the events and that was it. Um, I wouldn't say it was an event that led to a loss for me, but it was an event that it made me um, gain more experience and more knowledge. And if you know me very well, you know that I don't see challenges as an, as, as, um, an excuse. I see challenges as a stepping stone and a way forward and how to grow and get better. I'm, I'm sorry that a lot of the time I might not be concentrating so much on the camera because you can see I'm on the road, I'm driving, and um, I we just thought about ways to make the recording fun so that I'm not just sitting in one place saying blah, 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 and everybody is just like, I'm all, you know, boy in surveillance, you know. So at least we're just cruising, cruising around town and, you know, trying to get some things done. So that would lead me to number two. The second thing, I guess you barely know about the Emperor. Now, the second thing is that me, I be Yoruba boy, you like Yoruba boy to the core. <laughs> and if you know what that means, that leads us into the second thing. I guess you don't know about the emperor, which is the emperor loves Amala. Amala, hey, Amala to fele. But when you hear me saying Amala, a lot of people say, ah, the, the emperor. Those few that know that I love Amala, be like, ah, the emperor loves Amala, but he doesn't take more than one rap of Amala. So what does he love in the Amala? So that brings us to the second thing. The emperor, I the emperor, I love Amala. As in, Mugbadu Amala. Amala to fele, you know. But look back, Riate we do, you know, and Ogufe, Ogufe Meji, or more. So, um, I love Amala so much. Right now, we are driving to where I'm going to go get Amala. Amala to fele, and um, I think because of the privacy of people, I'm considering that we shouldn't record the parts where um, we are trying to get the Amala sorted and all of that. So, when we get to where we're going to get the Amala, we're going to just cut the video and we'll pick it up from there when, possibly when we are back to where I'm going to eat the Amala. I think we'll just go to the office instead. We'll go to my office and um, we'll pick it up from there. So, um, Amala, Begiri Anewedu and Ogunfe loading right now. Now, for my, for Amala, the favorite, uh, for Amala and Ogunfe, the favorite part of the Ogunfe I love the most, if you know about meat, it's it. Iti ogunfe, iti enron. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> or the tongue, you know? Or the tail. 
and so on and so forth. Don't let me go into all those details. But I'm sure that people that know me will be like, ah, but boy, but boy, my like it, but I don't go. So um, I love Amala, like I said, I love Amala so much. Amala, Amala has this um, this relaxation vibe that it gives you. Like when you eat better Amala, you tend to just sleep off or just go off, you know, just shut down and forget about all your problems for that minute or that period of time. So um, we're getting closer to where we're going to get the Amala. Like I said, because of for privacy reasons, um, we're not going to record. We're not going to get the camera into the whole process of getting the Amala. But it's going to, I'm going to buy it as takeaway. I'm going to take it back to the office. Then when we are on our way back to the office, or when we get back to the office, we we'll continue from there. And I lead, and that leads us into three other things that I bet you do not know about the Emperor. So stay tuned. We are very close to where we're going to get the Amala now. I think we're about less than a minute's drive to where we're going to get the Amala. And I cannot wait to, to place my order and say, Hey, for me, Amala, konto fele, me lu ogun fe meji, to yibobo. I hope you guys are not beginning to, to salivate and be like, why is this guy talking about Amala now? Now you're making me want to eat Amala. Oh, well, fingers crossed. Let's, let's see. We're in the streets where we're going to get the Amala. Um, and the name of this particular Amala joint I'm coming to is Amokeogi. I'm sure that people that eat Amala very well. Right now, I'm on the mainland right now. And I'm sure that people that eat Amala very well will definitely know Amokeogi. Amokeogi has two branches. One in Shumolu and one in Bawala. So I'm in the one in Bawala right now. And we are trying to... Um, the challenge here is that a lot of the time... Um, parking is always a challenge because there's no there's no created space for parking yet but i'm sure with time they would put all of that into consideration so a lot of the times always um an aquilian task trying to park and that's what we're trying to do right now but i have a particular place that they always allow me to park as a vip so that's where i'm going to park right now then we'll come back to place the order for the amala so don't change that dial keep it locked and and wait for um, me going to wait for for the time I go in to go get my amala and come back out with the takeaway. So, guys, I just parked now and we're at Amokeogi, like I said, and it's time to go get some yummy. Yeah, guys so um you can see i'm excited you can see my excitement is on another level right now that's because i was able to get my amala and get 80 ogunfe midge <laughs> so right now i'm going to my office i want to go i want to go my my grandpa would say i want um, silent prayer he calls eating silent prayer so i want to go make my silent prayer for today um couple of times you might I might get to the Yamala joints and I might not be able to get the particular part of Ogunfe I like but luckily today I was able to get it and uh, that's why I'm excited so um, I'm on my way back back to the office now to go get to go you know to go out a way war my fellow way war you know <laughs> so and I was thinking while I was getting the Yamala because a couple of people will come around some will not get um, bakery and we do some will prefer only a we do and stew or and soup some will prefer a for and um, whatever so let me know in the comment section below i'm sure you might you might not like my own way or style of eating amala with ama um, bakery and we do so let me know in the comment section below how you prefer your amala and who knows you might just win it a, a lunch date of amala with me you know so let's know let's keep that rolling and we're on our way back to the office to go get some amala See you there. It's here, Melu, the Emperor. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. New Year, New Year, Jabola, Brown, no. What's it about? 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 Watch 
Isolate our father. I'm sure if you have quite, you have been around in the music industry for a while, before Nigerian music industry for a while, about a decade and more, I'm sure that you would know who Isolate our father is. So um, that's what be. Big shout out to Isolate our father. Um, we should be shooting the video for that soon, alongside a couple of other projects. And lest I forget, that was the first track on my recently released debut album titled Royalty in My Veins, R.I.V. Royalty in My Veins. So if you have not listened to the album, go get it, go listen to it, go copy it. It contains 24 solid tracks, 22 tracks and two bonuses. Now, back to the matter. We just go back to the office right now. We just got into the office and I'm about to have Amala Atiu Mufi. It has been dished and I'm ready to have it. So, um. The third thing I'm sure you don't know about me is that I, the Emperor, I love Pepsi. So, a lot of the time I feel like I'm the unofficial brand ambassador for Pepsi, for the brand Pepsi, because I love Pepsi a lot. I don't take alcohol, but when it comes to Pepsi, I think I love Pepsi. And sometimes I just get scared, like, I'm more piano after effects of taking too much Pepsi. Because I remember even, I think three or four days back, I took three Pepsis in just one day. I'm sure the doctors in the house will say, Amo, that's not good for your health. Though. But if you were me, what would you rather do? So I don't joke with my Pepsi. I think I still got some here. Oh, perfect. So you can see my Pepsis. I don't joke with Pepsi at all. So this is my Pepsi. Pepsi. Who knows? Maybe one of my fans might even have the link to make me an official brand ambassador for Pepsi. I'll be expecting that phone call. The Emperor want to sign you up on. Pepsi brand ambassadorship deal. You will see how I go happy. <laughs> so, well, like I said, I'm not allowed to go is served. Join me. And you know, 
you know what I'm saying? T-shirt over a penny. Penny coin, pressure. You know, right? So, um, like I said, that's the third thing I'm sure you don't know about me. I love Pepsi a lot. I don't joke with my Pepsi. It's always Pepsi. Now, listen to the sound. Just listen. Listen. That sound there. <laughs> it always is torturing me. So, as you can see, I got my amala, one piece of amala right here, one, and I got my goofy. I've washed my hands, they are clean, and it's time to eat some amala no goofy. Join me, let's go. Bless this for the Lord for Christ's sake, right for those who have not. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Eat now. You know it. You know let them see what you are about to eat too. Before they do it now, only me the chop. Hmm? Open it now, let them see now. So you welcome back to Five things I bet you didn't know about the Emperor. Now, um, that, that Amala was so interesting, so sweet, so succulent, so intriguing. Right now, I'm feeling sleepy, I, I tell you. But, you know, uh, PHCN and, is it PHCN and NEPA and IKEDC and CoA, like right now? There's no lights, we are in the office and we can't turn on the AC, so we're just working with the fan. So sorry if the fan sound comes into the recording, but let's just move on. We have done, uh, I've told you the number three thing, and now we are moving on to the fourth thing. I bet you never knew about the emperor. Um, the fourth thing is that I, the emperor, am a graduate of Olabisi Onobanjo University, um, popularly known as OSU or OOU or OOU. So I'd like to give a very big shout out to all my greatest back, 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 back. All my greatest boo, 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 boo. All the alumni of Olabisi Onobanjo University worldwide we are doing great things we are doing great exploits we are we are carrying the school name so i and we are so proud to be alumni of olabi senobanjo university we thank god for life we thank god for olabi senobanjo university we thank god for grace and we thank god for everything that god has done for us i'm a graduate of olabi senobanjo university i was also a graduate from um ibrahim Adesian polytechnic in india i studied original planning and in olabi senobanjo university I studied architecture. So, well, I don't know. If you have architectural, con uh, architectural contracts and interior and code, don't worry, just reach out to me. I'm sure to be able to plug you in. So that's the number 14 I bet you don't know or you never knew about the Emperor. So we don't have much time to waste. Let's move on to the fifth and the last one. The fifth and the last thing that I bet you don't know about the Emperor is that... God. I don't know. Okay, okay, I've seen it. So, the last but not the least thing I bet you don't know about the Emperor is that I, the Emperor, I used to work as a banker. I worked as a banker for a couple of years before I resigned. And um, the name of the bank is Sky Bank, now known as Polaris Bank. And um, I worked in a couple of branches. Um, I got to meet a lot of amazing people through the bank, a lot of amazing colleagues, a lot of my ex-colleagues that are still in the system right now and they are doing very, very well for themselves. A lot of my ex-colleagues have left the system likewise and they are out there in the world making themselves proud and making me proud. So shout out to you guys. It's your boy the Emperor. I still remain your, your loyal and humble boy the Emperor. It's here, Milu. And now that brings me back to, I've said five already. And I, I want to top it up with, um, right now I'm rocking my merch. As you can see, I'm wearing the branded cap of Etia Milu Empire Entertainment. The branded t-shirt of Etia Milu Empire Entertainment, which you guys all call merch. Um, we have t-shirts, we have hoodies, we have polos, we have um, sweatshirts, we have um, caps, baseball caps, um, normal caps, and so on and so forth. So I want to give 
a very 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 special shout out to everybody that has copped their own merch from the brand everybody have been repping the brand worldwide a lot of people have copped the mer their merches their merch rather and they are repping it's a million empire that they went to the fullest a lot of people have copped caps and polos and they're rocking them together some cop only caps some cops only t-shirts imagine like i can't just thank you guys enough you guys are the bomb thank you all for supporting the emperor thank you all for supporting it's a million empire entertainment i remain the lawyer boy once again the emperor and if you want to get a copy of your merch don't forget to reach out on via social media platforms and your merch will be right on its way to you wherever you are all over the world thank you so much for for the patience and for enjoying five things you, i bet you never knew about the emperor who knows maybe see you again sometime soon i go by the name d to the a space e to the m p to the e r o r the emperor lomono a t m l peace out <laughs> It's here, man. Many matter for no long. It's MJ Magic Fingers. Boy, I cheesy, lele, oh yeah. The Emperor. I want to come to your place and show you something. I want to show you something. I'm on a big something. Ay, 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 ay. I want to come to your place and teach you lesson. You've been a naughty girl. Yeah, yeah, I want to teach you lesson. Ay, ay, ay.